Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know it's so weird. We are talking after so long. Oh God, how are you? Are you still in college? Uh, you dropped out. You finished college. Are you a company man? Are you married or something? Like I know some of you are. And are you retired? Are you dead? I mean, pr I'm pretty sure some of you are. Okay, so... I never give you any closer, but all right, it wasn't you, it was me. And I thought it's best for us at the time to get separated because we both had different interests. You wanted your Linux stupidity all the time on your face and I wanted a life. So we both changed and whatever. Okay, if you're still mad, maybe we can start off fresh and I can show you my hyperland. Oh, come on. I know you like it, right? So... I configured my hyperlink again um, because this is where I left and I wanted this for so long. Like I was using this, um, what is this? Like my rice, the previous rice, which I showed on this channel a lot of time. And this rice is something which I use for so long. And in this video, I just want to show you my rice paradigm, like how I like to rice my Linux systems. So... Actually, this is not the exact rice which I'm using right now on my laptop. But um, so the thing about XORG is that it's old. And as you all know that I'm a progressive modern YouTuber, uh, ex-YouTuber, whatever. I, I can still start making videos again and be a present YouTuber. So uh, the thing about my rice is I always like to keep it simple, okay? So when I wanted to switch from DWM to this shit, Hyperline, I just wanted everything exactly same. Uh, it, it should be just like DWM, but the only difference is I can do this, you know. I can just be more flexible with my windows, okay. And I wanted my Pywall because I can't live without Pywall. I just want new, new themes every day for me. So that's really important for me. Now, the thing about this whole setup is that Pywall is complete and you can see my Wofi menu is looking nice. Last time when I was making video, uh, I had none of this configured. And as you can see, my bar, okay, I can press Control, uh, Windows G to hide it and Windows G to show it. So, it's everything seemed like DWM. That was my goal when I started to rise my hyperlink. And as you can see, I did such a nice job you know, designing this part. I mean, it's so simple, but it is looking so good. I'm so glad that, you know, I did not wrote the CSS and asked ChatGPT to write it. And, you know, after ChatGPT, I I don't do anything. All right. It's, it's so lame to write things by your own. So, uh, let me show you how I integrated Pywall with this because this is the most interesting thing which I did today. So there is this script hypervise or uh, hyperstyle. So what this do is it change my wallpaper. So let me show you. Uh, okay, this video is going to be trash because I'm making video after so long. I totally forgot how to make videos. So hyperstyle is going to give me new style every time I like new wallpaper and everything. So mm -hmm, same wallpaper again. I like this one for all right. So as you can see, hyperstyle it, it's all same as DWM. The only thing is this is more flexible and bloated too. Look at this. Like when I press window G, it does not hide instantly because it's GTK. And this is something which I have to live with and tolerate. So I also started using, you know, VS Code because you know, there are times in life when you get actual job and there's nothing you can do about it. So I will configure my favorite Emacs. I mean, Emacs, I already have configuration. What the fuck was that? Why it took so much time to load the color scheme? Okay, so VS Code is also having Pywall color scheme in case if this will make you happy because this is VS Code, so... I think color scheme is the only thing which can make you happy here. And what else? Like, 
this time now I'm using food. So again, when I do my rice, my entire goal is this. So less programs, less design, everything less, simple, minimal, minimal, minimal. And the idea is just having one bar, which is V bar and having one menu, which is Wofi menu and having one terminal. That's it. So in my DWM, I had D menu and I had DWM status bar and I had like ST terminal, but here I got foot terminal. I already made a video about it. So let me show you my configs. So if I go to hyper and this is my hyperlink config and there's nothing interesting. Uh, one, one update is you can see that animations is no. Okay. So some of you might wonder, wait a second, why there is no animation? Because I turned it off. And if you're wondering why I am not using animations in Hyperland is because I am a mature person now. All right. So yeah. Now, other than this, uh, there's nothing interesting. All the key bindings is same as uh, before uh, in my DWM. I will of course put all of this on github someday other than this as you can see this exec once command so exec once open a shell so i decided to write everything whatever i want to open in just one command so because i don't want to spawn multiple shells and i want to have everything quick and fast while startup so i'm running my hyper style which is going to have all the do the all the color scheme things and wallpaper setting up things and then starting Waybar and foot server for faster terminal spawn. And yeah, that's the most interesting thing about my config. I am not sure. Now, hyperstyle is something which is interesting, which I want to show you. But before that, Waybar, like how I'm changing my color scheme of Waybar while switching like with Pywall. That's so I made a link file here. So let me close this. I made this link file. And this link file is again the cache of uh, wall. Wall is just like pie wall where pie wall generate color schemes. And now I'm using this CSS file in my style.css. Okay. So I'm really proud of ChatGPT for writing this um, really nice CSS for myself. And it just, I just gave a really great prompt so credits to me too because i asked chat to write a simple script the font i'm using is feeder code of course so i switched from jet prints mono to feeder code because i was quite bored with jet jet prints mono and um, yeah so this is my this was my like waybar config and same for wofi so again chat gpt so I use the same color scheme like from Waybar and as you can see that this is my config. All right. So uh, I think I need to change the transparency of this terminal sometime later. Okay. Hyper style. So yeah, like oh, a terrible wallpaper. <laughs> yeah, this wallpaper. I don't know, yeah. So yeah, this is it. Like I'm trying to just completely switch to Hyperlane because I'm still so much into my old DWM system, uh, which I use on my laptop and I'm, I just want to completely switch. So there are a few things which should not few, a lot of things which are still pending. One is like setting up a clipboard for myself, which is there. Like I did some research. Okay. I stun. I forget my script name. Yeah, this is good. Oh, all right. So, are we valent yet? Uh, mostly. Okay. So, there's this program for my uh this thing, clipboard manager, which my neighbor use. Uh, he is also a hardcore Linux user, and um, he always flex this clip hist. So, I'm going to install that, and I'm going to install uh some of the necessary hyperlane tools, like for example, some notification daemon so if we go to hyperlane con um must have so yeah i need to have one this thing notification daemon bye bye i already have non-systemd distro no i have a systemd so yeah everything else is fine there are some bugs on obs i just noticed which i have to fix related to core nvidia so after that i think my system is completely ready
and this is by the way uh my uh, internet status oh uh, uh, some people might understand this so let's change hyper oh this this look is good so as you can see this is my new new hyperlane and i'm quite happy with it so that's it for this video and i will see you i i have one really interesting idea which i want to show you in some of my next videos so i'll make video on that for sure all right so thanks for watching